Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to something I have uh, been waiting for anxiously since it was announced last year. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, um, for those of you who are like uh, more interested in like the Pokemon content, you know, that's fine too. I still encourage you all to watch what you want to watch. Um, and... I'm still interested in like particularly uh, playing those, uh, for example, Pokemon Empire. That playthrough's not done. I'm getting back to that. Um, I've just had some health issues, but um, I'm feeling a lot better lately. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of stream uh, recording. So um, without further ado, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Man, um, this game's actually really amazing. I didn't expect for it to be as good as it is, um, but you know, I'd rather just show you guys and sit here and talk um, about it for any longer. The intro is already long enough as it is, just because I wanted to let the really good song play out. Um, I love the title screen for this game. It looks looks really nice. And it looks really uh, really amazing. Uh, so I was able to make platinum yesterday on the first day, and I just decided I would, you know show off my deck and uh, some of the games that I had um, and yeah so uh, let's start with uh, I guess I could show off my deck uh, the cards that I have um, I play Dragon Maze I'm sure nobody who watches me is really surprised about that um, this is my current list that I've been uh, climbing through platinum with um, there, I've changed some things. Uh, I cut the Black Metal Dragon just because I really have to play around this card. Um, I underestimated how, like, you really rather just see kitchen, parlor, or chamber. Just because, in most cases, these, th these two get you to chamber, and then chamber is already herself. And you can get to tidying. So if you get max seed, at the very least, you don't give your opponent too many draws. Um, so I just cut Black Metal Dragon in favor of that. Um, I'm still playing the one red MD. Although I feel like if Maxi were to ever get banned, I would immediately cut Kitchen for three Black Metal Dragon. And I'd play the second red MD just because the engine becomes incredibly good if that happens. But like for right now, this was a list that uh, I was working with. It's pretty easy to get some of the higher rarity cards um, if you know how to manipulate the system. Um, and the crafting system is very effective for getting exactly what you need. So I'm not going to go into that too much here, but this just showing off. This is the deck that I'm playing. Um, so before I get into uh, the replays, it's important to know that uh, this format is primarily uh, based off of game ones. There are no game twos, which means there are no side decking. So you have to actually build your list around like what you might see. Um, and right now the, the three best decks I imagine are Drytron, um, Tri-Brigade Lyralisk, um, and Ad Emancipator. And then I think like a close fourth is probably Stun Eldritch. Cause like so many of the broken stun cards are legal in this format. Um, it, the ban list is not exactly the same as the TCG one. There's some very different cards in play, which is why Max C is even legal. It's closer to the OCG, but it's not exactly the OCG, but it's it's whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's get into some of these games. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I guess I'll talk about some things while the games play out. Um, I felt these games were cool enough, so I saved them. It's still Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, nothing's really changed. Uh, it's basically you, 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 you basically got to draw like this to win it. You know what I mean? Uh, this is pretty nasty. But uh, yeah, my opponent here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fast forward this, but my opponent here just I don't know if they weren't playing when Maxi was legal, but they were like. I, I don't know why they thought they could, like, take the maxi challenge if they weren't going to deck me out, right? Like, that's typically what you do with the maxi challenge, is you deck someone out. But he's just, he's just going to keep giving me cards, and he's going to make a board, and I already have droplets, so 
there's no board he can make that, you know, I can't beat. <laughs> Which is kind of like the funny part in all this. Talents to draw too, because there's literally no reason to pick my hand, right? Um, I'm just, I am just going. I think he genuinely was trying to deck me out, because I don't see a lot of reason to make silver. Um, I'm guessing he just realized he killed me. Like, that's the only reason. And I'm gonna like, drop it for four, because why not? <laughs> this list I was still playing Black Metal Dragon, but, uh... I did very- I, I changed that as I got closer to Platinum and people started playing more competent decks. This is still gold, and like, in gold you'll see competent decks, but sometimes you'll see like, some jank. And it's like, not that serious. But anyway, I'm gonna summon Stro right now, my ace monster, right there. In the, her majesty. And I'm going to fry his entire board. <laughs> Just in case you doubt. Shuffle back filter. And my opponent's <laughs> game. So yeah, um as far as like presentation, this simulator looks really nice. Um it's very, very simple and intuitive. Um it feels like the best parts of Edo Pro. While at the same time having flashiness. Now to be fair, I don't think it's a complete um like I wouldn't say it's a complete replacement for Edo Pro because that simulator has the like, the benefit of, you know, newer cards that aren't exactly legal yet being able to be played. And, and I wouldn't say a competitive in my opinion, because you can test newer things, which is a lot more exciting in my opinion. Um, so I, I'll probably still use Edo Pro, but I... I like this, you know? I, I could see myself, you know, doing a lot of ranked matches and keeping up with the seasons every now and then. I don't know if I'll be, like, a religious climber. I feel like there'd have to be a really good reward for me to be interested in uh, consistently climbing the ladder. Just because, like, you know, I have other things to do. I want to play other games. But, um, yeah. I still think the user interface is really clean. So this is, again, Virtual World, um, a deck that is surprisingly, you know, underrepresented considering True King of All Calamities is legal in this format, but, uh, you know, I, I can't really complain. Um, unfortunately for him, Dragon Maid has a winning matchup against this deck, so I'm just gonna... keep my engine going and he is going to set one and immediately scoop <laughs> that is 8k damage on board <laughs> all right um so yeah and then these next few are going to start getting longer so i'm going to probably i might throw them out we'll see but i made it to platinum at this this was my first game once i made it to platinum last night and, you know honestly it's pretty nice like it's really hard to describe like hmm like it it the format i think is fun but there are definitely some problems um i think the biggest problem is you know well, max c existing is pretty ignorant pretty degenerate you saw what i did against that tri Lear player like that was stupid but at the same time like that's not the only problem. There are a few. Um, skill drain is at three in this format. That's ridiculous. That absolutely should not be like a thing. Um, skill drain should absolutely be limited to one or a perf ban. Like, just get it out of here. Um, it, as long as it's not at three, I guess I'm fine with it. Um, vanity's emptiness is legal. That needs to go. Like, ban that. Please. Imperial order is legal. Ban that. Please. Um, 
these cards win you the game as soon as they like resolve. It's, it's almost insane. Like they give Eldritch such an unfair advantage, it's ridiculous. Um, so those need to be banned. Um, Block Dragon in Ad Emancipator, uh, that needs to be banned um, like quickly, very quickly. That card is insanely oppressive to play against. Um, they need to ban, um, preferably, I mean something, a lot of things in Drytron, honestly. Ava probably should go to one. Ben 10 should be banned or one or either or you can put Ben 10 to one and ban Ava but like one of those one of both of those need to happen it just needs to be either either so to see Thunder Dragon Colossus back on the field is kind of cathartic because when this card was terrorizing the meta I was a trick star player and uh, to see it you know not really interact all that well with my Dragon Maid deck is pretty fun you know parlor dragon maid doesn't really care about that card she gets me to what i need and that's why i love her very much <laughs> um but yeah this was actually a very fun game it's got some interesting back and forth as you can see like i'm i'm kind of losing here but uh i'm not out of it My deck still grinds very, very well. Um, I definitely misplayed here. I should have droplet it before. I lost like 2,700 damage because of this. But it's like I, I, I only I thought Colossus protection was from card effects, not battle or card effects. Reading cards is actually important <laughs> as we as the Yu-Gi-Oh players' natural enemy. That's, uh, it is what it is, right? Okay, now we're gonna go into the parlor to set up the grind. Um, this right here, um, I think Black Dragon and White Dragon are not limited in this format, which is insane to me um, because of how strong they are. So I'm actually gonna negate this because the Chaos Engine actually sucks if you can stop the monster from touching the graveyard or like, yeah, so I'm going to let my seal resolve. So that'll be that. I honestly think I should probably consider looking in the copies of Cross Out Designator. Just to, uh, I need to be able to play through hand traps and like around them. So that might be the next card I go for. But, uh, yeah, I still, I, my, my list is still a work in progress. I'm actually like, I like it quite a lot. It's very like skillful. If, I mean, the, the tech choices I run, I wouldn't call skillful. You're just playing the best stuff that you can get your hands on. But like the deck itself is very skillful because if your opponent doesn't play around it properly, you can do things like this, and, like win the game on the spot. <laughs> so yeah, it's really fun. Um, all right, now we get into a, a long game. All right. That's pretty much all there is to talk about. Like this, this is such a really good simulator. Um, yeah, they can draw two hand traps and you know, call yourself really good at the game. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna. So this was a matchup against Drytron. Um, I think the next two matches were both against Drytron. Um, and let me tell you, this matchup is not a very fun one. Like, Drytron is so ignorant. Um, it's like, I, I, I basically have to, you have to be able to read certain things. Um, and I, I guess I just didn't. I didn't ask the Diviner. I didn't feel like that was the correct play, but it is what it is, so. I'm pretty much gonna get put on the back foot immediately. But it's not too bad, because I drew Droplet, and like, drawing Droplet here was insane. It saved me. So I'm gonna go ahead and search. Uh, and I'm gonna, yeah. Hiding. Because I could have searched show, but I was thinking to myself, 
I felt like two interruptions were actually just better than one. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that perfection. And then make Steel set tidings a good board, you know? Um, now the big fear here is um, if he just attacked with his Diviner, that would have been a problem because I would have had to bounce that. Um, but he felt like he could OTK me. And I'm like, okay, cool. But, um, that, there was nothing I, I had to. It, I was going to end up in this situation regardless, right? I don't think there was any way I could play around that since Seal is zero attack. Anything I left to just threaten it. Um, so. And then I had to get rid of the Link Karibo or I would not have been able to get rid of the ultimate, ultimateness. I mean, the perfection. I needed to get rid of perfection. So that's just degenerate. So I'm going to chain Tidy in here on Nurse so that Orange Light negates. But if the card changes location, it can't destroy it. And if I if Nurse got destroyed there, I'd pretty much like lose the game immediately. So my opponent is left on you know one card in hand, and I'm hoping it's not a fairy, and it's not. I don't know what it is. So I'm going for the game, and he gives it to me. So I'm guessing the last part was like a bluff, which is pretty solid. Um, and then this is the last game. Um, I was actually very proud of this game. I did this game uh, very recently, but um, it played out pretty cool. This is also against Drytron. Much better build than the last one. And you can see my hand is amazing, but like, as you, as you see, like, my opponent's just gonna have everything. Like, and I mean that, he's going to have everything. Um, I should have lost this game, and in the most frustrating way. Um, so he's gonna get Ben 10. I'm gonna max C him, right? He's gonna cross out me. So it's like, oh, okay, well, great. All right, now I just have Nib and Tidying. It's rough. I could probably get it done, right? So he's gonna go off. I don't have too much to stop him. I'm going to put the Alpha, I mean the Ben 10 back in his hand so he doesn't get the search um, off of Ben 10. I want to keep him off of as many like fairies as I can. Because uh, putting the Alpha back in his hand, I don't think would have been too good since he had, well, actually it might have been better looking back. But all I know is I needed to put one of them back and then I nibbed him. So at this point, I've kept track of the cards that he had in hand, you know, he is ultimateness, um, ritual spell, and he draws Maxi. So now I'm under Maxi, and my Maxi got negated. So you can see, um, I'm kind of screwed, and I have to give him one draw. There's no way around it. But I get in for 3,500 damage, and I have two interruptions. I almost wish I made Seal here, just because I could bounce back Nib and then use Nib again, but... I, I really wanted to give him as little resources as I possibly could just because he was so far ahead of me on an advantage and Drytron like wins really really handedly if you give them like any sort of new life. so this isn't good um, I was worried he would have sent Entis and used Entis to force my show um, he didn't do that uh, I, which I in some ways I think is a misplay um I, I feel like this, this guy kind of misplays a lot, but I'm going to take that, you know, like, I mean, hey, he misplayed. I don't think I misplayed. Maybe I did somewhere, but he definitely misplayed. And I'm going to capitalize on that. I'm trying to win. I want that run. <laughs> and we're both in platinum at this point. So we're at the very end of the, the, the season. <clears throat> and this is like, this is just ignorant. So at this point, he imperms me. He's like, okay, that sucks. I am quite literally at the end of my rope. He Ava's and I Ash. And he is called by the way. So it's like, wow. Um, how many options do I have left here? So the only thing I could do by this point is do my best to play around as much of the interruption that I know he has. I know he has the effect to the ability to send off of Midionis, and then he just uses Orange Light. So, 
I am gonna bring back Parlor and use, I mean Lorpar, use Lorpar to dump Parlor off of Hospitality and revive Parlor to dump Nerf. Because at this point, my goal is to stay alive. There's no, he's not gonna give me any sort of leeway. Uh, and he misplays here incredibly. He goes in for the direct attack, but he doesn't account for the fact that I actually have another tidying in my graveyard. So, he tries to ash me, but he called by the graveyard, so his ash is negated. You know, like a misplay after misplay, this guy, he was really messing up. Had he put his Beatrice in attack mode, um, and swung with, um, <clears throat> if, if he didn't swing with, uh, Medionis first, and he swung with, uh, well, actually, I think I survived either way, based off of how battle phase ruling would work. So, either way, he didn't account for the, uh, tidying in the graveyard, and that's kind of his own fault. Um, so at this point, he's kind of run low on resources, but he's still playing the game, and it's kind of annoying, I'm gonna be honest, like, it's really annoying, because he's just getting more advantage and more advantage. But I'm hoping, like, the reality is he doesn't have too many options. And I see this IP, and I see Unicorn, and I'm like, okay, so what does he have? What's going to happen to him? So I'm going to start gearing up for an OTK. But I'm not putting all my eggs in the OTK battle. So when I summon House Dragon Maid to go for the House Dragon Maid OTK, he summons Avramax. Avramax is kind of annoying, just because I can't beat it over in battle. However, that's fine, because I can still end on the good boy. So I get my boss monster, and I can still get my second boss monster with seal. So I'm in a really good position at this point. So I can out the Avermax. He's got eight cards left in deck. You know, there's not too much he can do. I don't know if he has a. I don't think he has any more options by this point. So I'm gonna call by the grave the Alpha just to get it out of rotation. You know, I'm tired of seeing it. And then he battle phases, I bounce the Avermac, and he sleeps. Um, I did not tribute Seal just to play around, like, called by the grave, because I know he used one, and he was so, he had so many cards that it's possible he had the second in his hand. So it was, I felt like the winning play was to not play into uh, called by the grave there. But, um, yeah, that is, uh, those are all my duels. Um, and I gotta say, like, the, the game is really, really good. Um, there's a lot of customization and little quality of life things you can do to make the deck much more, I guess, a better accustomed for your, uh, for your experience. I need to get this card. Uh, where do you get it? Do you get it from any particular sets? It's Master Pack. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh, I can get one. I'm gonna get one. Uh, nice. Uh, and I'm going to play this. <coughs> but yeah, uh, I think the format is cool. Um, it's not perfect, though. I, It is really not perfect. There's uh, way too many busted power cards in the format. And I feel like they have a very toxic chokehold on what you're capable of. But, like, aside from that, I think it's it's pretty fun, you know? Um, anyways, if you actually watch this far or you skip to the rules, that's fine. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's good to be back. I will try to upload uh, at least bi-weekly just because I'm going through some things right now. Um, I'm not sure when my next upload is going to be. Um, but it, it should be before next week. Expect something sooner than later. Um... I don't know if it'll be Master Duel or if it'll be Pokemon. I am looking forward to Pokemon Legends Arceus, so expect a playthrough on that game at some point uh, once I get around to it. Um, I'm getting back on Pokemon Empire. I will be continuing my Pokemon Insurgents um, playthrough. I played it. I realized that like maybe I was being a little bit stupid um, and like childish. Um, so I'm going to continue that too. I just want to start finishing games because I don't want to be that guy that plays games and doesn't finish them. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for me. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah.
Thank you very much. Have a good one. Take care and happy new year. I hope you all have good holidays.